glory olamide here live this morning happy new year i haven't um wished you happy new year yet because it's my first live video and i thought to come in this morning to say happy new year welcome into 2021 and my first live video is about having a vision for your relationship do you have a vision for your relationship have you set any vision for yourself and your family yet? If you haven't, this is a great time to start. Because as a life and relationship coach, oftentimes I hear couples talking and complaining, you know, for various reasons. And why do they complain? Why do they have all these issues? Because there's a lack of vision. Thanks for the heart. Thanks for the love. Thanks for watching. There's a lack of vision. If you have a vision for your life, if you have a vision for your family, you will not have all these underlying issues. Okay? So the main thing, especially for the man, you must have a vision for yourself and have a vision for your family. Okay? Now, everybody has a purpose. You have a purpose. Your partner has a purpose. So when you come together, where are you both going? Do you know where you're going? Or have you just decided you have two captains in your boat? You are going one way, your wife is going the other way, or your partner is going the other way. That's not good. There will be chaos and there will be confusion in the home. Remember at the beginning, who was created first? The man was created first. And the, the woman came afterwards. Why? Because the man is meant to lead while the woman is the helpmate. She's meant, she's designed to help you. But if you have no purpose, no vision, what's she going to be helping you with? She will be If you have no vision, what is she going to be helping you with? That's why it's important for the man to lead properly. Understand your vision. Understand your partner's vision or your wife's vision. And then you can both come together and say, this is where we need to go. Have a plan. It's the first month in 2020. This is the best time. If you haven't had a plan yet, this is a time to call your wife or your partner and say, come, let's sit together. What plans do we have for the year 2020? What plans can we have for our family? Do you have children? You need, you need to have a vision for your children, okay? Understand where you want to go as a family, what you need to do. When you have a vision, it gives you, you become more intentional and you are able to put strategies and plans in place to help you move forward. Okay, you understand each other's purpose, you understand your strengths and your weaknesses and how you can complement each other. But when there's no vision, when there's no plan, you are both doing different things. And at the end of the day, there's no communication. As a life coach, one thing I hear most in relationship coaching is we don't communicate enough. But how do you expect to communicate when you don't have a plan? You don't know what to talk about. And then you say the woman is moaning and complaining. Yes, she will complain and she will moan because you have no clear direction for your family. What plans do you have for your finances, for, for example? Do you sit together to plan how you are going to spend both your income? Or if you have one income in the family... What plan do you have for it? Or do you hide, do you hoard your income and you don't even know what each other earns? There definitely will be confusion if that happens. So as a couple, you need to have one vision. Have a plan for, your, for each other. You know, you may have desires. The woman may say, oh, I plan to do this. And the man will say, he plans to do this. How can both your plans come together as a couple? How can your plans come together as a family? 
you need to have one vision and it's important to have um, break your plans down into different stages for example you need to have short-term goals have mid-term goals and long-term goals so you cover them break them down into different months and when you want to achieve them have a deadline by which you should be achieving each goal that you have set for your family so i thought to come here this morning to talk about this because this is a problem in lots of homes the, the year comes and what is making any plans and everybody is just starting the year and going on and on and you find yourself having the same issues having the same problems because they haven't been tackled so it's time as a couple sit together discuss things have a plan um, talk talk about what you want to achieve okay when you want to achieve them by and then you will find by the end of the year you can both sit together and reflect on the past year think about what you achieved and what you didn't achieve and then you talk about what you need to do to make things better for the next year okay so by december last year as a couple you should have sat down together to reflect what did we do well in 2020 and what didn't we do well what did we achieve what didn't we achieve and then you come up with a plan for 2021 and think about how you will achieve those things you didn't achieve last year and anything that did not work well for you as a family think about how to improve those things 2021 that is what makes a family unit bond that's what makes you happy as a couple and you see you are united and you communicate you talk a lot and everything falls in place and you don't have all these issues okay so i thought to come in here this morning to talk about it so let's start the year right okay have a vision have one vision and if you have children um grown-up children or younger children even involve them it makes you one as a family till i come your way again you take care now thanks for watching bye